Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. It's uh, another uh, episode or another in the series of understanding uh, mental health or be, uh, or mental health awareness is what I'm call, calling it. This week I want to continue with the giving some basic understanding of of the the of mental illness and talk about the the recovery paradigm uh, persons with living with mental health disorders and mental health problems can lead lead a full life and be contributing members to society as research have said sometimes though when you hear you hear of or or see people or even within yourself having some mental health disorders or problems you think that you know uh, there's no hope that's going to be a core component in a little bit I'm going to talk about but I want to talk about the the the, the understanding that this recovery paradigm that's with us is that people can uh, can succeed and and be better and live in a world of recovery and different degrees of mental health and mental uh, no matter how long a person has had these symptoms or experienced these sim- symptoms or how severe the symptoms are uh, people can and often do do recover like I said before Recovery is a process of healing and restoring the health and wellness during some of the most stressful times in your life. So what are some of those key core components in recovery? I mentioned the first one already is hope. It's important to to focus on there is hope for recovery. The role that we play in fostering hope in our friends and our our family and folks who are suffering is a very valuable contribution to their recovery and possibly to your own recovery of knowing there is hope and there are someone that supports you and there's 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 answers to some of the problems that you have it's also one of the core elements and core components of recovery is it's that your recovery is nonlinear. Recovery isn't a step by step. Sometimes uh, in this, it is nonlinear in in process. Let me explain that. Realize that there are backward slides and sometimes side steps uh, that happens. They aren't failures. They're just part of the recovery process. And with any other condition that takes place, there will be some setbacks. Give yourself uh, some hope that just because you had a setback doesn't mean it's a complete failure and that you still can't get into the issue of recovery and wellness when it comes to mental health. It needs the, another key component to recovery is to understand that it's strength based. Focus on your strengths rather than your deficits. Um, sometimes people with mental health disorders feel downgraded. And society or family or others have made them feel less taking your strengths rather than your weakness is one of the huge pieces of recovery and one of the greatest strengths is identifying that yes I have a problem I need help it takes great courage to step forward and say there's areas in my life in when, when it comes to behavior health that needs recovery. It needs help. 
And one of the greatest things that can happen for recovery is peer support. Support groups can be very important to um, the alternative to formal mental health treatment. And there's a lot, when I say support, uh, support and peer groups, it doesn't necessarily always mean uh, a 12-step program or a formal peer group. Sometimes it's just a, a group of people that you depend on and you have that, that gives you strength for and hope. You see, in this isolated times of COVID-19, there seems to be an increase in our issues of mental illness because of isolation. And more now more so than ever, we need to 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 reach out to those who need that support from us. Uh, it's nothing greater than having a friend with you. Turn to that relative or that friend that, that's going through and just letting them know you're there. Just a little just a little text from the from you saying, I'm praying for you. I'm concerned for you, thinking of you today. I'm here for you. Another key key component is is the self direction recovery. Recovery is a process that must be directed by the individual. The individual who's going through it must have goals and design and design these goals with the unique paths. Now, many times, the plan itself is unknown. You just don't have the ability to put a plan together, but it needs to be self-directed and motivated within yourself to, I want to improve. I want to be better. And it, and it also falls on, and this is important as a supporting person around, it also falls on the responsibility of the person who's suffering from, from those mental health issues. As a psychiatric nurse, there are many times that I have sat down with a patient and gone over their treatment plan, their plan of care. And there are many times I've turned to, to people, of, as I've shared the plan of care for them that the professionals around about them have put together and I've said you know this is your treatment plan and it appears that I and others are working much harder for your recovery and your treatment than you are and after all it's your treatment plan so one of the co core components of recovery is actually taking responsibility for your for your own recovery and a, another great component in, in recovery is a holistic approach in realizing that recovery encompasses the individual's whole life, includes the body, soul, and spirit. Is we attempt to, and I have to tell myself this as well, assist persons in distress, it's important to realize that we are multi-layer. We're affected by that spirit, soul, and body complexed look at life. Sometimes the problem is in our mind. Negative teaching and negative uh, bringing. Uh, maybe somebody told you you're worthless all your life and that has war on you. So, so sometimes it's the way of thinking. Sometimes it becomes the body. There is a chemical imbalance that takes place. There are many mental health disorders that are triggered and by physical disorders. And when you figure out what's going on physically and get the treatment for that, the recovery of your mental health is, is there. And sometimes it is spiritual. Now, it's not all spiritual, I got to tell you. Sometimes 
especially we Christians, sometimes Christians throw the baby out with the bathwater and we should say everything is spiritual. But the, uh, the recovery process and the paradigm of recovery, it's important to take that holistic approach that and to divide and figure out what is going on, as I said before, with the individual and making it an individualized and personalized uh, centered recovery. Uh, trying not to look at everybody else and say, I should be here and not here because others around me have progressed. The, Everybody has the unique part of their journey. And we all go through different things as ch children and, and the development of our, uh, our growth may, may have been arrested because of poor teaching, parenting, uh, addictions, uh, abuse. There's a lot of different things that can cause that. But understanding that as I approach this individually, that the timetable of getting better is not always the same for everybody. And the empowerment, the person who is emotionally distressed has the right and the authority to choose the range of options. Life's full of choices and sometimes the this, the recovery is based on your choices of what you want to do. Like the small child that says, you're not my boss. Uh, uh, you can't tell me what to do. It's your choice. Life's full of choices. Be empowered to be better, though, and take this, the bold step of saying, I want to look within and see what I need to do for my own recovery. Not everybody else's recovery, but my own. And I think probably one of the huge pieces in, in helping others, including yourself, in the core of the paradigm of recovery is respect. It's crucial to, to the recovery of, of yourself and others to appreciate all persons. Respect, inclusion, and full participation in all aspects of life. But I don't, I don't agree with somebody's lifestyle. I don't agree with somebody's choices. Respect them as an individual. You know, I've often said, if God can take us right the way we are, why can't we accept people where they are? It's a choice that you make. Um, God loves you the way you are, but he also loves you enough not to allow you to stay that way. So that's part of that recovery as well, no matter what is going on with you physically, emotionally, or, or behavior health. I, I hope this has helped today in that series of understanding mental health aware, awareness and, and, and as we continue. So please continue to watch this and I'm, I'm going to go more in depth with the different individual disorders and, and needs and break down a lot of things as this. If this is help me, helpful, let me know. And if there's something you want to hear uh, about when within this series, please let me know and let me know what's important to you. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time and watching uh, Morning Moments every day, but especially for today as we continue to look at mental health awareness. May God richly bless you.